What's up, everybody? Jensen Cummings here. Thank you as always for tuning in. This is bait and switch job offers. Like, what's the deal with this bait and switch, either like in the interview process or even when you get all the way through and get the job? What's going on here? Uh, yes, I've both heard and experienced it. Uh, a lot of times, I, I think it has to do with the fluid nature of any restaurant, especially if you're working for a small business. Uh, when you are, typically ownership's trying to achieve their own dreams and they're hoping for the best, so they don't always know what they can offer you um, to give them the benefit of the doubt. On the other side of the coin, uh, what you touched on with referring to back of the house people as bodies, I've heard a, a respected chef say, if you can fog up a mirror, we'll hire you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Which yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's, it's funny as a, as a little saying, but it's not funny for the human beings. I think that a lot of times, uh, those of us who are trying to achieve the dream of moving up the ladder from say dishwasher to head chef, we're so hungry that we wear it on our sleeves and that gets taken advantage of. Uh, we'll get an offer from an employer of the moon and the stars and promotions and a title and we'll take that title in lieu of a sustainable wage um i've done it myself i took the title my first time on a wage that i couldn't sustain because i was so happy to have it she was handed the restaurant at a horrible salary and expected it to what make rainbows out of yeah. you know <laughs> and it doesn't happen and then the owners get mad because it doesn't happen and they yeah. let her go and then they find the next gullible person it happens all the time one bait and switch experience where i really felt like i was exploited was i was um i answered an ad in in 2006 for a hotel restaurant that promised benefits um and after 90 days you're as long as you work 40 hours a week you're um you get the benefit package and i i was hired in September, worked holidays, worked clopins over the weekends. I made money, but not better than at the job that I had left that didn't offer benefits. And 87 days in, they took myself and three other people that were hired in that same class completely off the schedule because they didn't want to give us the benefits. Um, if they if the hotel had offered a seasonal position or been straightforward, they wouldn't have gotten the the um the applicants the quality of applicants yep. because I have left a full time job for a seasonal one, so I really felt like that was the 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 bait and switch. Like you were offered one thing and then you gave up everything to do for that deal, and then it was like off the table. You know, a line cook job around here, you're you're gonna start at fourteen or fifteen dollars an hour. Um, they're going to say in the ad nothing besides based on experience. And if you show up for the interview, they assume you're interested. And they usually offer you 14 or $15 an hour. And maybe you negotiate another 25 cents an hour, but you don't know how many hours you're going to be worked. So, right. so it's very, um, it's a gamble every time, every time we apply for a job. I mean, just like Keisha was saying, you don't know what you're walking into. You know, the industry, I mean, there's places that have great onboarding programs and hiring practices, mm -hmm. but I think um, in especially the, the smaller places, the mom and pop joints, um, there, there's really no real onboarding. It would be nice if, um, I know that hiring practices can't be standardized across um, the industry across the 50 states, but it would be really great if there was some kind of um, united clarification so people knew what to expect. Or, or some type of like uh, accountability, you know? Like, like if you're not doing this, then people need to know you're not doing this because that's the problem. Offering um, or, or not having health insurance for food and beverage workers is looting. No one cares for the body, like, where the, like how are the chefs and the servers bottom feeders of the whole food supply because that's what we are we're the bot we're at the very bottom we're we're pissed off about the situations we put ourselves into and that we are put through and now you end up finding ways to project that on other people it's not it's yeah. not the way forward it has to be about sitting down at a table like this having a meaningful conversation figuring out how we build what are we actually trying to build and for me it comes down to a sense of belonging